Just go for it. Never made a martini. You think as much as I drink, I know how to do this? This is going to be interesting. So I don't know what's in a martini? You gave me everything, so I'm going to use everything. Usually you have to shake something in here. OK. So I'm just not exactly sure how much I'm supposed to put in. You know, there are parts, and it's like two parts something, one part something. I have no idea. I'm going to just pour some stuff in here and see what happens. OK. Two ounces of vodka. One and a half parts of gin. This is what really goes into martinis. We're just going to use this because it looks cool. A lot of vermouth? Like a little vermouth? Who knows? I know it's sometimes got olives in it. So I'll just put some olives in here. And maybe shake it. Shakiness, right? So now that we have our salt to decorate the glass, we're just gonna go for the pour. Oh! Yeah, I don't know how to get this off anymore. Oh! Pour it in there. Do you drink it with the ice? Yes. You do. That's the piece of resistance. And there you have it. That's some liquor mixed together. Oh my god. I don't know what else goes into it. What else goes into a martini? For my martinis, I prefer two and a quarter ounce gin to one half ounce dry vermouth. I think gin tastes disgusting, so I'm gonna make a vodka martini. Like my man, James Bond. And then got some vermouth between a quarter and a half ounce. Let's make it a dirty martini. Why not? So then you're gonna put it in your ice. All the way to the top. We're doing a James Bond stuff. Here we go. Okay. Then you pour it in. Look at that pour. Couple of olives in there. I like three. Float them in there. Et voila. Cheers. Oh, God. Oh! Whoo! Yes! Let's go to the club. I'm gonna show you how to make a martini. I get some ice. Before I even start to make my drink, I'm gonna chill my glass. Ice in my glass and a little bit of water. That'll sit there, get nice and chilled. The classic debate with a martini is it shaken or stirred. If you shake it, it's gonna be watered down a little. You're gonna have ice crystals floating in it. If you stir, it's just gonna be a little stronger. I personally like to shake it. I like my martini super cold. So I start with good quality vodka. I'm gonna do about a four ounce pour for this. Okay, I think that we're feeling generous today. Okay, so I measure it out, and then I get my ice. Don't be skimpy on the ice. Make sure your lid is on nice and tight. Notice I have my finger on the top, and I'm wrapping my hand around the shaker so this doesn't fly off. Good, solid shake, okay? You actually want to see frost or condensation on the top of your shaker, on the outside of your shaker. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take my glass, I'm gonna dump out my ice water, give it a shake, get any excess water out, and then I'm gonna add my vermouth. I have my vermouth, and not a lot, because basically I'm gonna throw this out. And basically I'm just gonna swirl it around, just so I get the taste of vermouth, and then I'm gonna throw it out. Shake it out. I'm gonna add three or four olives, probably four small ones. Nice and cold, pour it over the olives. Make sure you get it all out. Okay, and what I'm looking for are those nice ice chips at the top. And that's how you make a vodka martini. Salut. Uh, 
Yeah. yeah, there's way too much olive juice in this. It's... I'm gonna have another sip though, just to be sure. Yeah, this is absolutely awful. Mm. 